right, so today we are here at a little beach in Aguada in the Rio Grande neighborhood. It's uh, really cute because it has all these like little um, pools where, you know, it's shallow enough that you could snorkel or just play with your kids. And um, we're gonna go snorkeling out there and see what's under the reef too, so let's see. today uh, I was flying the drone over the property and I think some petiris they've been getting close to hitting it I think one of them hit it so the drone just circled and fell to the ground so we have a GPS coordinate the battery's off so it doesn't do its beep and find but it's right in here somewhere so we'll find it good reason for some clearing dead trees lots of vines Come and eat them. So when I was crawling around, 
I uh, looked on the ground and looked, I've been searching all day, but I finally found what looked exactly like this. This is a recreation of the uh, scene of the accident. And uh, it lost its battery so it couldn't phone home. There was no communication once that battery flew out. There was one GPS location that was it. It has a function where you can get it to beep and call if it has power. So none of that worked. I had to find it. But at least it was on our property. Sometimes I fly up over the jungle into the ocean and if I lose it over there it's probably gone. But this took a, took a day to find. Aren't we so happy Aiden? Yep. yep, that was right there. Now we gotta try to find the battery pack. I'm thinking the battery probably came out more that way. Mm. But we could look for it tomorrow. Okay. Because it'll be on the ground, it'll be easy to find. It's starting to get dark. Yeah. So, further investigation also indicates that it was a bird. I think it was a pitiri that uh, attacked it, thinking it was probably a predator uh, trying to get its babies. They've been getting close to it. I've been watching them. Sometimes I'll see them fly by in the camera. But this time they nailed it. Caused one of the motors to fail. And then it just spun and tried to correct and spun and flew and spun. Till it landed way far away. <laughs> huh, Aiden? Give me five, brother. Good job. Good news, everybody. We found the battery. It had come out of the drone mid-flight after it started spinning and it was traveling at some absurd speed, like 37, 40 miles per hour. And the battery flew out. But Aiden and I found it. So now we've got the uh, drone all put back together. We found the battery. Uh, the rescue team did a great job. The investigators did top notch work. Um, so now we're gonna try it out. Here's the drone on the uh, concrete and we're gonna see if it launches. It's got new propellers and uh, the battery's charged. Yeah, look at that. Left and right, does it go up and down? Works just like it should. Good, there's no problem. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of This Old Finca. Today, on the lawn and garden segment, we are clearing a new area to plant. The reason we decided to do this was the drone went down and Aiden and I had to go find the aircraft in the forest. And we realized, oh yeah, we still have a lot of land that we could use to plant our plants. Um, there's a lot of trees in here that are sideways still from Maria that we never did anything with. So we're starting to process those and we're going to put in a new water line that runs all the way the length to the house. Because here in Rincon, there are dry months and we will need to be able to water all new plants and trees. Irrigation is a huge factor here in Rain Because it will rain, but it will also be dry for many months. Which the mangoes and avocados love, but a lot of the other plants we like don't. Here we go. Alright, we got it all fixed up. So this will be our water line. We'll hook it to this tree. And then... And as it starts to rain, we got the water on. What do you know, just in time. So now we can hook a hose up to this faucet and uh, when we plant some new plants over here we can transform it into a wonderful garden of fruit trees and fruit. Making? Pumpkin. Sancocho, huh? Sancocho. There's our pumpkin, our corn. We're making some meat and we got the tomatoes. We're making this. It's still pretty raw, huh? Mmm, what do we say when we eat our food, Aiden? That's right. Another beautiful display in our gardens. Torch gingers. 
huge heliconias. Beautiful order. It's a Berliniana, some other contortionists, some upright Heliconias, lots of torch gingers, nice varieties, some orange Heliconias, Hakimis, another gorgeous order. It's nighttime and we have a very special surprise. The pataya or dragon fruit are blooming. It smells so good out. Go check it out. I'm gonna hide it over here. Check these out. It's so amazing. These things are huge. Look, they're bigger than my hand. They smell so delicious. Another one. Looks like it has this uh, inner part with a lot of uh, pollen. And so it has to get into this other part in order for it to pollinate. So we hope that there'll be some pollinators that come by tonight, maybe some bats or bugs. But if not, I'm going to be helping out a little bit. Maybe we'll get some dragon fruit. We'll see. Look at this though, it just smells so good. They only last about one night. Here's another one. There's another flower on the other side. As you can see, it's not quite ready yet. Up on top. But, uh, so that will probably open on another night. Let's hope, woohoo, this is exciting. The fireworks of the night. Woohoo! <laughs> I want to Alright, we're enjoying our time at uh, Carbon de Palo in Mayagüez, Amos Cofre Poyuna. Beautiful beachfront restaurant. So what are we doing? What do we say when we eat? When we eat. Wait, yeah. Yeah, look at these. Papas playeras and some nachos. You want it? I want it. Okay. Let's get down with at the lighthouse but all sorts of different Volki celebrating uh, kind of the, the lifestyle around Volkswagen and uh, so we're gonna go check out some of the cars and other things that they have going on, some music, some kiosks and all sorts of stuff. Let's go see! 